Candyman Diaries. Uh, back in action today. It is two days before Christmas. So we got like that holiday season thing going on. And I've got a lineup of jobs today. Um, I'm just gonna go through them with you. So you know what's going on. I'll try to film. I'm gonna try to film everything today just so you see what's, what's going on two days before Christmas. All right, first up, uh, 8.30 a.m. I've got to put a railing up. Some railing got ripped off. Uh, maybe put a back light up, maybe do some drywall work, but at least get that railing fixed at this gal's house. Uh, that's first up. Uh, second up, furniture assembly. A grandmother from Washington, D.C. called. Her grandson living here in town, and he's got a new TV stand station entertainment center dealio, and he can't put it back together, put it together, assemble it. So uh, she called me. I'm going to go over to his place and put that thing together. Uh, after that, I've got an older gal with a big hole in her garage. Uh, I think the story is that her husband fabricated some kind of vent like a long time ago, and the vent finally pooped out. And then after that, I've got a big railing to build, like a wheelchair ramp ra wa wailing, railing to build, and that should wrap it up on the day. All right, so like I said, job number one on the day was this railing replacement thing. And what railing has not been ripped out of the wall? I kind of want to know that. It seems like it's like symptomatic of being a railing that at some point you fall out. Uh, this one I replaced with some big old mollies or you can call them drywall anchors or wall anchors. And you've got a ton to choose from if you're looking into anchors. I use a couple different kinds. These were the kind of lead or uh, metal, some kind of metal. I find they work really well in a lathe and plaster situation because they will tap into the lathe especially well or lath, whatever you call that stuff. So once I got the anchors installed, I had a nice solid connection and could hang up that railing once again. Okay, that job's wrapped up. Man, I go through a lot of drywall anchors. Uh, you know, just one of those things that you're just doing all the time. All right, job number two on the day was this totally deadly ladder situation. The deck was kind of icy, you know, a little bit slippery, a little bit icy. And, you know, you put your weight up on that ladder and it's just going to go on you. So I took um, a piece of scrap out of the trailer and screwed it down to the deck. And that made the ladder like way more secure, 100% secure. So I could get up there and swap out this light. You know, the existing light worked. It was just that it was on a photo cell. And, uh, you know, with the photo cell, you've got a lot less control. These guys also wanted to update just the look of the light. You know, no one wants like an old ratty light with a bunch of rust and crud on it and stuff. So they wanted an updated light to kind of match the house a little bit and to 86 that photo cell. All right, job number three was a little bit of a downer. You know, not too bad, but just a little bit of a downer. Furniture assembly job. This was the one where the granny called me to assemble this piece of furniture. The downer was just that the furniture was not that great. You know, it's all this particle board stuff and it just did not go together perfectly. The doors didn't latch perfectly and you know, just kind of got under my skin. Fortunately, job number four was a pick me up. I not only got to do a quick repair for these folks, but I also got to talk to the dude who had built this barn. Great space. Very sturdy, practical. <laughs> it looks like you have a nice workshop. That's what? Well, it looks good to me. Nice tools. Unfortunately, Okay. It's hard to do. You can't do what you used to. That must be really frustrating. 
Yeah. Why well, I, I that's hard. All right, that job's done. A uh, nice old couple. He actually built that barn um, back in the day. I guess he just turned 90. He's been having some trouble. Uh, anyway, I just closed that vent up. It took me about five minutes to do, so I charged her 10 bucks. It was just an old sheet of plywood. No big deal for me, but you know, something they couldn't do. Anyway, our next job is to build that uh, railing on that wheelchair ramp. Again, elderly couple, and um, I think he took a fall recently. So this uh, handrail will kind of make the ramp a little bit safer. And job number five brought me full circle to where I started the day, putting up another railing. This one I anchored in the studs, and the idea here was that I was creating like lots of ways for these guys to grab on when they were going down this ramp. Uh, some on the wall, like you can see over there, those are installed. I put a grab bar up and I put a railing and then a dedicated railing on this side of the wheelchair ramp. Fortunately, there was enough space down below. You can see there's like about 18 inches or so to really anchor in with this railing. You know, the thing with railings is that they will wiggle because you get leverage on them up above. This one was a lot more solid than some just because I had that ability to, you know, to kind of turn a corner, anchor things to each other, and create a lot of nice solid connections down below. I also ripped like a million of these balustrades and put them in at four inch uh, spacing. Four inch spacing, as you probably know, is code that just you know keeps little kids with a four inch head. It's hard to believe anyone has a four inch head. But anyway, it keeps people with a four inch head from sticking their head through and getting stuck. The wacky kind of funky thing about this railing situation is that I also put a gate on it. Uh, the gate is so that you can open this thing up and move furniture in and out that big door. So it's just kind of a practical convenience for these folks. And uh, I still need to go back and finish up the gate with some hinges. All right, the handyman is out on the loose this morning. Um, I've got a funky job. You love this. I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm just going to tell you that um, it's unusual. All right, so uh, here's that job, and it was kind of fun. Uh, it was hanging some strips on the ceiling for all kinds of ropes and sticks and stuff to hang from in this aviary you know like a dedicated room for birds uh, these guys have a bunch of different birds um, that they've rescued uh, over the years and they were kind of going wild when I was making noise like if I if I drill something in the birds start flying later I started whistling and they whistle back at me anyway it was kind of a lot of fun and uh, again anchoring stuff to the walls that's like the theme of this whole video Components are simply building units, such as wall panels, gables, roof trusses, air conditioners. Let's go on the truck. Come on. Hop up. Hop up. Hop up. Good job. All right, we got a scrap metal run going on. I uh, got a day off after Christmas. No jobs lined up. So I thought I would eliminate part of the hoard around here. Not all of it, but some of it. You know, when you do a scrap metal run, sometimes it's hard to tell like what's scrap and what's just like your stuff. But uh, I think I got a good pile and we'll see if I can make, oh, I don't know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. We'll see.
All right, so I did do a little bit more day off stuff. You may remember that big old safe that I salvaged in the middle of the night and got for free. Well, I spent some time. I'm not going to say how long, but it took me a while. I spent some time trying to crack the safe. I opened it up on the back where you can see the tumblers and the mechanism or whatever. And I just started taking it apart, you know, springs flying everywhere, pieces working, not working. And I finally figured it out. It took me some time. You know, it's just like you would imagine. You just sort of apply yourself to it, turn to the right, turn to the left, see how it's behaving. And I finally got turn it to go. To left, like it clicks down. And then turn to the right. <laughs> awesome! And then check this out. Uh, you might find this kind of interesting. This shelf has these kind of funky brackets. Um, I kind of like them. You can see all these little kind of jagged teeth. So you just slot a piece of wood in like that. And let's see, this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six down. And then one, two, three, four, five, six down, and I just fabricated a new one of these guys. That should fit in right there. Legs. Fits in like that. And you can see the other ones right here. It's kind of a funky way to make uh, removable shelves. Alright, so I was just cleaning the uh, safe out, and I found this coin. It's like a $10 gold coin something like that it says a uh, quarter ounce fine gold ten dollars all right that's cool but then I noticed there's a few more coins back here um, probably worthless pennies but it seems like this safe was the province of a coin collector and then I also added some tie downs to my trailer you know I've been driving around with stuff just in the trailer just kind of bouncing around in the trailer and bouncing out of the trailer so now I've got some tie downs so it's a little bit more legitimate I can strap stuff down when I really need to alright that wraps up this episode of my handyman diaries I'm back out there doing it but I gotta tell you this is not really a story of how to do it. It's just an account of how I did it. I appreciate you checking it out. Hit me with a comment down below and I will be sure to respond. It's always great to hear from you guys.